So today I'm going to go over my current rig setup, uh, the miners I'm running, and kind of how much my, I've dumped into this. So I've been doing this for two months. I've unknowingly was staking coins for a long time since 2017 with uh, Redcoin. It was just staking on a laptop at a wall, and I go, I don't know, I was making coins. It's not worth much, but I was still staking coins. Then I started finding about mining, and I first saw about these those uh, those uh, rigs you could buy, which did Bitcoin. But that didn't really seem interesting in a way. It just seemed cost prohibitive. And then I just started to get the GPUs. I had an old GTX 760, which blew up on me, and I was going to use that. And then I found quickly found after been in this for two months, the biggest barrier to entry is finding parts, finding GPUs. But I was able to scavenge some stuff, find some stuff. Uh, it wasn't easy. eBay, I overspent on a couple items. You'll you'll find that. But right now, here's where I stand. The first rig I have is an old 2013 gaming PC I built uh, with an ASRock computer and had a GTX 760 that's gone now. Uh, but that thing is a champ. I was able to slap five GPUs off that using a one to four splitter. It had uh, two PCI slots. So one, I put a card in right on that PCIe slot. The second one I put the one to four in. So that gives me five. I probably could have put another slot in, but I'm happy with that guy. That guy's a trooper. He is working good. So he's got a 1660, 1660 super, a 3060, a 1660 super again, and a 3060 Ti. And I have the watts there too. You can see 509 watts total on that. The second rig I built is, uh, it's a, uh, what is it, a 470? Oh, of course I left it on the ground. It's got the 470 Gaming Plus motherboard. And I've got one, two, three, four, six, six uh, 380, 3080 Ti's on that. Uh, I finally just got the six one to recognize on the motherboard, and that was uh, turning off the compatibility support module in the BIOS. And the reason I didn't do that before, when I did that, my SATA drive wouldn't boot because it had the old legacy uh, master boot record. It didn't have a UEFI master boot record. It had the old GPT, I guess. I can't remember correctly, but I have a video on that as well. Anyway, I found a quick way using Microsoft tools, amazingly enough, to convert or insert a UEFI boot record on that SATA drive. So it could boot up and I could switch the the, um, the uh, motherboard BIOS to uh, UEFI and turn off the CSM and BAM! It recognized the uh, sixth GPU, which means more hash, more mining. And I get about what? On those you can see right here, 80s, high 80s, and this is using uh, NB miner, the latest NB miner, which uh, goes after that LHR mode and uh, improves your performance and uh, your hash rates and all that good and I use um, like I said MB minor and I've set all the clock rates the same right there you can see my settings I had it at 1200 before but it would just crash out and kill the windows I'd get the memory uh, kernel panic whatever and I also use now, I've learned how to use this voltage thing on the curve editor. And I just set it at 750, and that seems to be dialed in perfectly. This guy can run, and I don't have to worry about it. It's all Windows. Again, I'm running Windows because I like to control things right now. Here's this guy with the uh, 1660 Super, 3060, 36 Ti's. You can see the hash rates and what it's doing. This is T-Rex Miner. And what I like, what I like about T-Rex Miner is I can set all the clock settings in the actual... Uh, bat file and what if I can show you this and they're like right there you can set them on the command line and I like that that way you don't have to worry about bringing up MSI afterburner you just kick the script off and let it rip so that's T-Rex this one is going to Hashimoto which means I can mine ETH hash but get paid out on nice hash in Bitcoin so I like Bitcoin Bitcoin's why I want to do it my goal is to get Bitcoin is tax stack sats right gets give me some satoshis i want some of that good stuff but on the other rig over here this is uh again eth hash but it's going to ether mine as you can see and that's where it, that's all my money's there because what i did on the ether mine is i have a low payout which is 40 
GWI, whatever you say, GWI, and I refuse to pay any more than that. It's ridiculous, the fees. Payout is, oh, it's low. I mean, it's getting lower, 98.92, base fee, mine's at 40. I'm gonna hold, I'm holding holding the line, man. I'm not, never surrender. I'm gonna wait for that 40 and get my payout. And that's gonna go into my Voyager account, uh, my Voyager crypto wallet, ETH wallet. And I will get interest then on my ETH I mined. And it's not bad, it's like 5% or 6%. So you might want to check that out. I'll do another video on BlockFi, Voyager, and how I get interest and rewards and stuff like that. And also, I have the BlockFi Visa card, which I get rewards in Bitcoin. My goal is to just stack as much Bitcoin as I can. But ETH right now, too, because I'm doing ETH hash, and I'm splitting the difference. I'm trying to get, I'm collecting Bitcoin with that. Um, there you go. So there's that one. All right, let's go back over here. Uh, thanks to Brandon Cohen because he mentioned uh, with the back when I started two months ago or two plus months ago late August is how to get stuff and he mentioned these laptops so I found these laptops and they had a 1660 Ti and this other one had a 3060 I needed one for work so I got kind of reimbursed for the work one okay but uh, the 1660 those things are rock solid workhorses and um, I wonder if I can show you so let's look at this Lenovo this has the 1660 Ti, and these are running, I believe I'm running T-Rex Miner. Here you go. And what am I getting there? I'm getting a 27.3 T-Rex. Yeah, I'm running T-Rex Miner here. I wish, uh, and that's not bad. Let's see what I got here. Yeah, I'm going to nice hash on this guy, and uh, that's T-Rex Miner. There's the settings on that. So with T-Rex, I didn't, in this file, I did not set the settings. I used the MSI Afterburner. So that's what it looks like on the laptop. All right, so there's my layout right here. And what I did, I was curious about power management. One thing this house doesn't have is 240 anything. My old house had all that stuff. This house, I actually had a water heater we converted to a InstaHot. So I had an empty 30 amp circuit. I had a guy come run a 30, 240, you know, 10 gauge cable. So I also had to get a PDU. Again, PDUs were very hard to get. I managed to score a used one off of eBay. And then lo and behold, two weeks later, I get my uh, trip light one comes in. So, and now I got two. So I'm gonna, I actually listed on eBay for really high, just in case if someone wants to pay that much money, I'm willing to sell it and make some money. But right now it's just, it's a backup. I'm just waiting in case I grow, grow more in my rigs or if I, uh, if I just need more juice one day. So here's my wattage, my usage. I was trying to scale out so I didn't blow any circuits in the house on the on the 110s. Uh, you can see all this stuff. Again, this is part of the power of the spreadsheets. You know, this is always a question, how many watts can, can an outlet handle? How many watts can a 110 handle? And so here you go, 220 at 30, 220 volts at 30, uh, 110 at 15. And you want to do the 80% rule on that. You don't want, you know, maybe get close to 1,200, but don't get any, you know, watch that. You don't want to max these things out. So that's that. All right, now let's go to the good stuff. This is going to get noisy, guys. This is my little, my little uh, grow tent. And some, I've seen these all over YouTube, and I said, I'll try this. It wasn't that much money, but it was still money. And the problem was the heat. The heat was getting, it was just cooking the house, and it was just ridiculous. I'm sitting here sweating, trying to work. And I said, I got to do something about it. So we got the fan. We got the, we got the grow tent. And I'll have, I have links for all this crap now if you're curious what I got. All right, let me get my light here. Let's give you a nice GPU porn shot right here. With the little silver backing, it kind of makes it look cool. All right, this video is getting too long, so let's get going. So this is my old, my old gaming PC. What I did here, I have the one card in there. And then I have the splitter, which looks like that right there. I have the splitter in there to give me the four extra cards. So I got one, two, three, four, and five. And there's my old Ash Rock with my Intel. Who got it? Who knows what that is? And then I got a power server supply, HP, which is feeding, uh, which is powering the GPUs. And then I have a 750 Corsair in there. Again, that's from 2013. And... That, that guy is powering the motherboard and just that one GPU. Ideally, I should I could take that GPU and plug it into this guy, but it's fine right now. And all the risers are being powered off this uh, server power supply. That's it. This guy is kicking butt. I like this guy. And then um, as far as the grow tent, I got my intakes. 
my outtake, exhaust, and then intakes down here as well. I found a sweet spot. There's a sweet balance, and I had these little fans here. These are great fans. These are uh, Amazon Basic fans, and they actually funnel the air directly, like direct the air. It's not just dispersed air everywhere. It's like directed, focused air. I mean, from like 10 feet away, it goes right to the spot. It's really a cool fan. I got this one, and I got a little baby one over here just to help help with some airflow. And the whole thing with these grow tents is just getting the right pressure. You get negative pressure, positive pressure, and it just gotta, you gotta tweak it and dial it in, and it depends on the ambient temperature outside. It's, it's a whole science, man. It's really crazy. All right, this is my newest build. This has the six 380 Ti's, and I did get some of these hangers here. It's made life a little bit easy, but then I said, geez, why am I spending, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks on, you know, uh, 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 3d printed hangers when I could just freaking not spend money I don't need to spend money on it. like don't spend money on stuff that's not going to make you money so it was cool to buy all the fa fancy shiny stuff and I said nah, that's enough I got to get smarter here so take these racks these are Home Depot racks 26 bucks these hanging wire racks man you can go buy a uh, mining rig rack for 250 bucks now you're 250 bucks broke is that rack making you money eh, not really so what I did here, this works out pretty good too. I just got a freaking deck, deck screw and I prop the uh, GPU up on the wireframe. I feed that through and that thing holds it securely. Look at that. That is a, that is a pole man. That is the blue collar working man solution to hanging GPU racks or hanging GPUs from your rack. That's, that's the blue collar way. That's the MacGyver. That's the MacGyver way. Let's go with that. And then here over here, we got another GPU powering uh, I mean, another PSU powering some of these GPUs, and I got the big boy down here powering the other ones, because these guys suck power. These uh, 3080 Ti's are, as you saw, they're close to 300 watts, and they are, they eat, they eat energy. So down here, we got the um, MSI motherboard, like I showed you, AMD CPU, I got the uh, 800 right there, powering the, powering the board and everything, a couple risers I have. I, I try to diverse uh, diversify the load as you can see I have some of these uh, PCI splitters running out of this guy and then the GP powers are coming out of the power supply units just to just to you know, divvy it up keep it a uh, keep it so it's not all sucking from one of uh, one power supply unit uh, here's the uh, risers going into the thing one two three and then th uh, two coming off that splitter and one on the six I still have a problem with that fourth PCI slot and I know if I clear the CMOS and reboot, but I don't want to go through the, all the BIOS crap again and set up. Things are working. I got six cards. I'm happy with six GPUs, and I just want to keep rolling. These fans do absolutely nothing. It just kind of is more of a visual indicator to me that the system's up and running and churning. Um, they're useless, but this, these little guys, <laughs> this is why this fan's good. My little Amazon $29 fan, right? Um, thermometer, and I'm running about 95 degrees right there uh let's see i got my there's an exhaust fan up here i'm not going to show you because it's horribly messy i tried to muffle the sound so i put boxes all over it um so there we go that's this rig now here's the future ready let's go over here and you might have saw one of my earlier videos i made a wood rock again i don't want to spend 250 bucks on a uh, mining frame because again if it's not if it's not making money why why waste it so i built this actual wood rack for under 15 bucks uh, it's fine and the only I mean I can put my again it's all disheveled because this motherboard is bricked yeah I mean it just won't post it won't boot I tried anything I got another memory stick coming if it's not the memory that means I got two Asus motherboards that just are crap and just aren't booting or posting it's ridiculous everything's stripped off it CPUs I even tried two CPUs it's just who knows man I got a bad batch flushed everything you know CMOS pulled all the cables off it's just i don't know it's real frustrating but anyway that sits down here power supply uh and the gpu is sitting right up here as you can see and i can get six across here uh, right now it's all disheveled because i just want to get easy access to the motherboard as i tried to troubleshoot what's going on but it's great you can just pick this little puppy up this rack and put it anywhere and it's nice and convenient uh it's not like being hanging stuff from the wire rack over here because that gets so that's those are pretty much hard to move around uh, this is just nice, like a little suitcase. Pick them up, move it, and you're ready to roll. So, that, guys, that's it, man. That is all I got.
that is where I'm at today in my little crypto mining journey. I am no expert by, by any means. I, I watch a lot of guys on YouTube. I trial and error stuff. I get frustrated with this hardware and I try to find out what works. Here's my clock settings that I, that I put in there. This is gold stuff and this helps because you're gonna forget this crap. Here's my inventory. You can see some, all the crap I bought, how much I've spent. Here's some of the GPUs. I kind of keep track of everything because I'm just going to turn this over to my accountant. Spreadsheets, we got our setups right here. We're running at some decent temperatures right now. Uh, that's the big thing with the, the grow tent is just getting that dialed in so the temperatures are nice and things aren't cooking. Because sometimes those 380s, man, they were getting up to 80, C temp 80. I was like, what is going on? These things are, you cook cookies on them. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. All right. So just all trial and error. Um, I think it's a great hobby. If you want to do it, do it. Start small like I did. This is pretty, like I said, this is an old GP, a CPU I had, a little a computer workstation, and I just modified it and bought pieces and pieces and added on. And then from there, I, I just scored, luckily I scored some uh, 380 Ti's and said, that's all I could get, I'm just going to get them. Because it was just hard to be picky at the time, and I was just happy. I was say, I'm going to make a six rig 380 Ti and roll with that. And this is giving me over 500 and 80, uh, how much? Here, 500, well right now it's 510 mega hash. Again, I have it kind of dialed down a little bit because I don't want it to, you know, I don't want to push them too much. I just like the way it's rolling now. Things are reliable. I don't think they babysit it. But as I add more stuff, I can add, actually see uh, switching over to Hive OS or um, Awesome Miner I heard is good too. So I have to check that out. But Hive OS seems to be where it's at right now. But I do this all by hand and manage. You know, sometimes I'll come down in the morning and the screen will be blue screen of death because of memory error or kernel panic or whatever. All right. All right, I'm out, guys. That's all I got. These are my uh, videos. I just want to uh, chronolog all I've been doing. I hope it helps other people. Don't be afraid to do this. There's, the community is great. People are very helpful. Everyone wants everyone to succeed. I'm going to get some beefier uh, CPUs, which are now, there's FOMO, if you're missing out, right? Is uh, the Ryzen 9 3900Xs uh, are moving. They were like low 400s, now they're at 550 and going higher. It's ridiculous. Uh, so I was able to score two of those, and I think I got a Ryzen 5 too. And, uh, and I got some more of these motherboards, because I'm, I'm learning now with these motherboards. I'm sticking with what I know, and what I know I can troubleshoot. And this guy, I've learned really well. <laughs> it's bio settings, what hardware works with it. Unlike this um, ASOS thing behind me in the wood frame, all right, that's it, guys. Long video, tw way too long. All right, I will talk to you later. I gotta go find the dog. Gotta feed the dog, take him out for a walk again. This is his channel. He's never around. This dog is like lazy. Come on, man. He's. I'll. I'll he'll make a show one day. I think the first couple of videos we had Rocco Taco running around. Uh, we'll get him in a video. All right, guys. Take care. I'm out.